Ah, uh, yeah, man, we back at it, baby. So look, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Raymond ACX. Y'all already know the deal. Y'all already know the drill. I want to say thank you to everybody that watched my channel. I don't care if it's five of y'all, bro. I appreciate, or you know, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate every single one of y'all. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, woo, I, YouTube is something I really wanted to do for a very long time. And it's just, um, I enjoy doing it. So, y'all remember to smash that like and comment button. You know, it helps with the algorithm. And not only that, man, so we're going to get into today's video. Today, we're going to be, um, you know, taking y'all along with the oil field work. You know what I'm saying? As a truck driver. So, um, I'm going to take y'all throughout my full day and uh, let y'all know what it is and what we do. So, we got a load going from Benton, Louisiana to somewhere I don't even know. But uh, right now... All I'm worried about is getting to my destination. I'm gonna be taking y'all along through everything. My POV, I got a GoPro here. So let me go ahead and show y'all. I got my GoPro joint with my headband. So I'm gonna be showing y'all exactly what's going down and what I do and stuff like that when I drop off, pick up, and you know, way that they, what? Discombobulated, boy. Way that the staging pad and stuff like that. So y'all come along, I ain't gonna do too much talking because I know uh, the video is gonna bring more value than me just going blah, 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 you feel me? So with that being said, I hope everybody's having a blessed day, man. Get up, grind, go do what you gotta do so you can do, do what you wanna do later, you feel me? So uh, yeah, man, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, if these backing videos has helped y'all, salute to y'all. Um, if y'all new drivers, salute to y'all. You know, go out there and be safe, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it, baby. Let's get into this video. Wow. Yes, Lord. Look, man, real quick, right here at this spot, I just put into location, and I just stopped right here to show y'all exactly what I mean by opening the hatches. So for y'all that don't have no experience out here in the oil field, um, this box is actually really tedious, man. I've been having trouble with it, but some boxes, man, it's easy. You could probably, I don't know, y'all can't probably see because it's I got the wide angle on my GoPro. Obviously, it's a wide angle, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the hatches, and uh, hopefully, y'all can hear me good. And there's not too much wind noise. And I'm gonna just show y'all the process. So I'm gonna get my gloves, and um, you know what I'm saying, get everything pumping and jumping. And uh, like I said, so there's different locks out here. There's a lot of wind, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can. So there's a lot of uh, there's a different lock. So these right here are really really easy so these are the locks whenever you go to deliver you basically just pull this up and open it's basically open when they're like this to lock it simple as that nothing too major something easy and then you do that uh once you deliver so um hopefully today i'm able to show y'all exactly what i mean by that because some people they actually have uh people to open those for you so yeah that is that for that and then over here uh, we got the pole to open the hatches so on this side i just got this side in here in the hose come out it initially supposed to go over here on this side as y'all can see right there but nah i'd rather just put it right there and then uh have that bungee cord so right here is what they use to oh shit, there's a lot of wind let me put it over here so over here this little ridge right here is to open um the hatches up there so excuse me uh whenever you open these hatches on the side that you need to uh, open the hatches on they would always have like a label right here label and um the other one i had had like a, a tag but this one only has the what do you call it, this serial number and stuff but you would basically go to the not so not the very corner not this one but the second little ridge on the um on the sandbox you want to go straight up right there swing it across see this one don't hit so this one hits at the end of the pole. So right here, I'd have to go on the corner and open this one. So I don't go to this first one. I, I don't go, I go to the second one right here. So I come up, hit it right there. And you gotta get it like with a, get it with a decent grip. Cause if not, it'd be hard to open. So right here, you just want a full force. Push that open. And then uh, I don't know if they want just one open or both of them. I just opened both of them to save me some time. So same thing on this side you want to come here i i don't feel it so hold on bah right there so like i said full force push up done deal so that's it for that nothing too crazy nothing too major then you want to go ahead and slide that right back in there come here and then just pull that all the way through bah. lock it in right here bah. Bah, done deal so that ain't gonna go nowhere and um all these obviously remain locked all these right here are gonna remain locked until you go deliver this whole box 
So the only time you're going to unlock those locks is when you go to deliver the sandbox because they pick up the whole sandbox in itself. So they don't get it out the bottom or nothing like that. They pick up the whole sandbox. So right here, the processes of uh, hauling a sandbox are you go uh, pick up the load. Once you pick up the load, you're going to go to a staging pad. A staging pad is just where you wait to get to the uh, spot where you're delivering. I'm going to be showing y'all that in this whole video. So just be patient. We're going to get there. And right here, we're just going to, uh, boom, we're going to come this way. And we're going to go to that guard shack. Once we hit that guard shack, uh, they're going to just give us a thumbs up and just keep hauling. And we're gonna go ahead and go to those silos, either to the left or to the right. I think it's uh, the left is one through three, the right is uh, four through four and five. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that right now once we get closer. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we are behind, I believe, seven to nine trucks, somewhere around there. So we're all waiting to get filled up with sand. I think we're picking up 100 mesh today. And we have one, two, three, four, five trucks behind us so uh this may be an hour wait this might be 30 minutes this might be an hour and 30 minutes you never know so welcome to the oil field you know what i'm saying there's a lot of waiting going on and um if y'all enjoy the waiting and just chilling and you know whatever i guess it's a job for you on um, sometimes you know it's real quick to get by sometimes you got two or three trucks and it's real uh you know in and out type of deal but today it's one of them days we're just sitting patiently waiting and yeah so i'm not gonna talk through this whole time till i get to the front i'm gonna just go ahead and just show y'all how they guide us in when i get to the front so yeah baby i see y'all maybe in an hour or you know all right y'all so we finally made it to the front we're gonna pull around we're gonna go to scale one i think they only got scale one two and four working so uh yeah man we're gonna pull up to the next available scale and uh yeah so we just put in uh all the information from our po number and after we put in our po truck number uh company name all that good stuff they set us up with the right sand that we need to uh get and it's a done deal you get two bols two tickets one stays for you and one stays for the company that i mean one stays for you and then one stays for um the location you're dropping off at so once this guy gets done i go in get filled up go over there and close the hatches and it's a done deal baby it's a wrap so um i guess i'm gonna just show y'all once i close the hatches and when i get going you feel me <laughs> all right y'all so right now i'm gonna just go ahead and repeat the process close the hatch so we're gonna do the same thing just on the opposite side it's gonna take this out ah so last time we opened from this side right here so we gotta close from the opposite side ah so we go right here you can close it the same way right here the second one fill it oh, this one's harder so just make sure it be on point full, full strength make sure you hit it yeah it's gonna be a little harder hold on you gotta play with it sometimes sometimes you get it from right here right there nah sometimes it's harder so let's try this joint out Joint, just join give us some problems. Ah. Yes, yeah, sir. Easy money. Then come around. Hit this joint right here. Hit that by one, two. Light work, light work. Just like that, man. We repeat the process. Nothing too crazy and nothing too major. First time you do it, your shoulders are going to be sore, boy. Shoulders are going to be sore, just to let you know. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's tight. Yes, sir. So that's a done deal. Uh, we're going to wrap this up and uh, get to our staging pad process. And then we're going to go deliver this joint. So... Like I said, whenever we deliver, the whole box goes and they give us a new box and then we go do a new load. So I'm gonna see y'all then, baby, let's go. All right, y'all, so right here, we are at the staging pad. This is where we wait before we unload. 
And let me tell you, this is crazy. This is a crazy amount of trucks. So we could be here for easily four, five, I mean, plus hours easily. So right now I'm just mind blown. But yeah, so this is staging pad. This is the person that tells you when to go right during that gray truck back there, if you can see. And uh, yeah, man, so uh, they write us down, each one of us, right when we come in. So we got a whole bunch of people in front of us right now. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all right now, man, a little bit. Never since the time I started working here in the oil field ever seen this staging pad be so packed full of people. I'm talking about 20 trucks plus, easy. So, yeah, man, I did a, uh, a small like recording, I guess, when I came in here to show y'all how many trucks there is. So, right now, these are the trucks that are next to me, right? This is the one that's beside me, and there's one, two in front of me. So, when I say this, the most I've ever seen, it's the most I've ever seen. So, excuse me, I'm expecting to wait easily six plus hours. Hopefully, we wait a lot less, but the way it's looking right now, we ain't getting out of here. So, I don't know, uh, this is the first time I've seen it this bad or this packed. So yeah, I'm trying to uh, see what's going down because, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm all discombobulated now, so I'm going to call my homeboy, see where he's at. And uh, shit, he might be in a bunch right here, so let me call him. And yeah, shit, right now, just a waiting game. And like I said, I might say waiting game 20 times in this video because if you're not loading or unloading, you're waiting, period. And even when you're doing that, you're waiting, so... Uh, welcome to the oil field, you know, people that want to come out here. Um, this is it, baby. This is it. So, uh, normally when I eat, I don't normally eat on, like, my shift. I, we work, like, 14 hours a day. Um, I don't um, eat until I get off. And I might have a snack here and there or some fruit and stuff like that. But um, I don't have a big meal or nothing like that until the end of the day. So, um, we do, like, 14 hours a day. So after I'm done with that, then I have my meal, whatever, whether it be Subway or, you know, I try to eat on the healthier side, but, um, you know, wherever I stop and drop is where I eat basically. But, um, yeah, man. So this is it. I'm not going to stay here and just talking forever because, uh, next time I might be on camera, might be in the nighttime and y'all know the GoPro suck at night. So hopefully we get this stuff pumping and jumping because I'm trying to get out of here a sappy though because this is literally the first load of the day and if I'm waiting here six plus hours there goes all my um all my you know all my shift time so we'll see we'll see what happens as you can see right here we got another driver coming in so uh right there and that's the guy that tells us where to go and stuff like that so yeah hope y'all enjoyed this video so far I hope y'all uh, getting some good information and I hope I'm giving y'all what y'all need. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or giving y'all what y'all need to know about coming out here. I greatly appreciate every single person watching the vlog. And if you made it this far, I appreciate y'all. And yeah, baby, I'm going to turn this back on once we uh, start unloading just so y'all can get the grasp and the concept of that. And uh, yeah, we waiting, baby. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So I thought I'd throw this in. So right here, they, got, uh, they leave comments sometimes on like the location. So... If I click on the location I'm at, easily tells you right there, 20 trucks in line. It says, bring your lunch. So, yeah, man, we just patiently waiting. It's been a while now. I think, like, two trucks left, two more coming in. So, yeah, man, the waiting does not stop. Oh, all discombobulated. Uh, I got a whole long time to wait. I ain't gonna lie, I might just sit back in the uh, sleeper. Just lay out, man, chill, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no... <sighs> yeah, that means I need to go lay down, you feel me? Ain't no ain't no reason just to just be out here in the sunlight. I'm gonna go post up like a vampire, man, go lay up. So yeah, man, waiting game is the truth. So quick update, we've been here for a total of four hours already. Uh, more trucks coming in. Uh, hopefully we're out soon. I feel like we got a solid two more hours here, but I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And we have 10 more minutes here or less than that. But really, I really, in reality, I feel like we have two solid hours here left. Maybe more, maybe not. But 
Uh, I'm gonna just turn this camera around and show y'all. We got some more people coming in, more people posted up like a mailbox, and then you got us, right? Um, I feel like I got one, two, three, four, like four more people in front of me. So hopefully that's a fact and we get up and out of here. Hopefully they call five at a time, but really I've been seeing people go in since I've been up. People going by twos or by threes, stuff like that. So we just patiently waiting. I took off my boots. I put on some Crocs just to be comfortable. Um, I don't want to take my my you know my uh, cover off because then I might, might mess around to put it right back on. So might as well just post up with it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So once once I get an update, once we get up out of here, man, I'm gonna turn the camera back on. I am not going to sit around and show y'all that we're here uh, repeatedly on this camera. So um, once I undo, undo this box, once you know what I'm saying, we dare to drop it off. Then that's when I'm gonna turn the, turn on the camera again. So come on. We gotta be trucking, man. Stay, you know what I'm saying. Get on this road, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna turn y'all back on in a few, man. When, when we get this thing pumping to jump, and I, right, I, right, come on. Yeah, so we predicted the future. We had to wait. So look, you open this lock here. It unlocks that. So yeah, man. We are here now. Seven hours later. Wishing it was sooner, but that's exactly what we had to go through. So yeah, man. Welcome to the oil field sucks you gotta do what you gotta do though man so you open all four slots like i said push this back i usually got my gloves on but i had to rush so this is the terrain we're in i'm gonna get back at y'all here in a few minutes hold on give me one second y'all actually lied so it was eight and a half hours later now we're here and uh yeah man crazy crazy wait time that's the, that's the longest i've ever waited to be honest with y'all and um to be all the way real, I'm ready to go grab something to eat and go to sleep. I got my BOL right here. It comes in tickets like this. And I'm going to just hand it to the dude. And then they take it off the trailer, put me in a new one. And, uh, yeah, man, call it a, a day, a night, whatever you want to call it. And say, this has been the worst day that I've had out here in the oil field. I'm going to be all the way blunt, honest, and, you know what I'm saying? Trash. But I'm going to just show you all the rigging that they're doing over here. Or the uh, fracking that they're doing. Or, you know, show you all the forklift and things like that. And uh, yeah, man, then we're going to go from there and uh, I'm going to end this video. So hope y'all enjoy it so far. And uh, yeah, so this is where the whale is at right here. Uh, so what we got to do is we got to pull all the way up. I don't know if you can see dude over there doing it. Pull all the way to the left and then back up. We got to park right here, right in front of this forklift. So I'm going to let y'all see uh, what I'm going to have to do right now. And that's basically it. These uh, Linker's hazards driving me crazy. But uh yeah, so I got to do that right there. And we got some more people behind us, too, as you can see. Like, 30 trucks later. Yeah, man, I just... I'm in disbelief, but I'm talking about... Uh, I know some people probably got more, that got more experience than me watching this video. It's probably like, man, kid, you ain't seen the half of it. And I heard people waiting a lot longer, too. I heard people waiting, like, 12 hours, something like that. So, I already know. But, uh... Yeah, man, this is the oil field, so if you want to come out here, they got them back or whatever. So if you want to come out here in the oil field, all I got to say, baby, just be ready to be patient. Um, be ready to wait. Uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here in a little bit after I uh, get all this stuff done and uh, head to the truck stop, call it a night. I'm going to end the video there, I believe. So yeah, so... I'm going to holler at y'all. It's been a crazy day, tiring day, so let's get it over with, man. Catch you on the next little slide, next little clip, man. Right now, they just taking off that uh, crate right there, as y'all can see, hopefully. So they take off that one crate, and there's a lot of empty ones. They put the, they take off the full ones and uh, put the empty ones on. And this is how close we are. Ooh. It's how narrow the road is. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but I'm on the dirt. I'm on the uh, grass on that side. That's how close we are. Ooh. These are the terrains you're gonna have to drive in when you come out here to the oil field. It might be sandy, it might be dusty, it might be muddy, but you know, it is what it is. We gotta do what we gotta do to get the job done. So, uh, yeah, man, this is what it's like. We got some uh, trucks over there waiting. I don't know if y'all can see with the lights right there to the right-hand side, they're right there just waiting to go in because they can't be blocking in the entry so as you can see man that was a real real thin road so for an example like right here 
you have another truck on the left side which is over there trying to pass you up so yeah man so just be prepared for tight roads narrow roads uh well narrow is tight but y'all know what i mean man uh, it's rough and rugged out here a lot of people throw you out to the woods to learn everything on your own but i guess i'll talk about that here when i stop at the fuel stop so yeah man hope you enjoyed this video so far if you have been sticking around this whole time see you at the truck stop man y'all see man y'all see i ain't lying look at that ah. yep man so i'll get back at y'all in a few minutes ooh 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 yeah man we we in there for real look at that I'm telling y'all terrain is crazy all right y'all so that's gonna conclude this full video i greatly appreciate it for every single person that came watched the video stuck around through the whole video i appreciate y'all y'all remember to like comment share subscribe because it does help with the algorithm i am very tired as y'all can see uh very minimal parking spaces here at the at the um truck stop <sighs> yeah man uh just and it sucks i wanted to give y'all more content more locations but um that's all we got for today man it's just one lo uh one location so y'all know one location uh one payout so wasn't a very good day at all this has been the worst day i've had out here in the oil fields to be all the way honest i probably said that i think once in the video already but it got its ups and its downs and you just gotta roll with it so yeah man appreciate y'all for watching let's go we out they know it's on Roll ice the track, let's rock and roll All line, they know I'm in control Muscle up, feel like Roman Reigns Can't see me and they know they can't Go harder, they ain't no other way